Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue, and what an amazing couple of days. We were so happy to welcome the Guatemala Tigers into the Miami airport on Monday, early, early in the morning, and then brought them to the sanctuary later on in the afternoon. And there has just been a whirlwind of media and volunteers all being so excited about it and getting to spend some time with Jan and Tim from Animal Defenders International that I have not gotten these updates done. So here is from November 25th. Erin Cardin says, what a great day to be a coordinator. Everyone worked hard to make this Manic Monday go smoothly. It was awesome to have Lauren Buckingham around Keeperside all day, keeping, it, keeping us at the top of our game. Also, we have three new tigers. We've been waiting for you guys so long. Yeah, like since February of 2018. It's so exciting that you're finally here. Thank you to Bonnie Farrago, Beth Ann Bluter, Candy Kowser, Megan Myers, Michael Heap, Alex Green, Cindy Kahurik, Elisa Salcido, and uh, Salcido, and Mel Melanie Moore. I'm so tongue-tied. I haven't done name calls in a while uh, for getting cleaning and feeding done so quickly this morning. Amidst all of the chaos, Trevor McCabe and Cat Light Cap even took their small cat cleaning class and got their first sign-offs. I just need to make sure that wasn't something terribly important. Um, Dylan Levine and Abby Rivett slammed out food prep in like an hour because they're rock stars. Regina Turgeon clear, cleaned the golf carts for the tour golf carts. B.A. Beth Ann, maybe. And Cindy did, yeah, that would be Beth Ann. And Cindy did afternoon blood sickles. June, Marcelia, and Candy cleaned up around vacation tour path in preparation for Simba's arrival. Once they arrived, everyone was ready to help with shuttling, moving, and just enjoying the new boys out in their forever homes. Simba seems to already be enjoying his first vacation. Bethany Smith and Honey Wayton then cleaned out the transport trailer. Thank you, Honey, for handling every random errand I sent you on today. Definitely the most exciting day all year. Thank you to everyone on the partner side for handling tours and being available for karma. Everyone on the keeper side, thank you so much for being ready for anything today and handling the organized chaos like champs. It means a lot that you were all so ready to help. These new boys are so lucky to have all of you here for them. And what she's talking about there is that originally we were anticipating the arrival of the Tigers at 1 p.m., which would give us time to close the front gate, let all of the volunteers come and see the cats, and then they could open the gate back up at 2.30 for the people coming in for the 3 o'clock tour. Well, the cats didn't get here till 2.30, and so it was a mad scramble <laughs> at the last minute. So we wanted everybody to be able to see the cats, but we also needed to deal with the the uh, tour guests. So that's why everybody was scrambling around. And Elisa Salcido says that in her coordinator report where she said we had to scramble for people today. Thank you to Catherine Stapleton for taking the 9 a.m. tour. Oh, this must have been yesterday. And thank you, Mary Gagliordi, for coming to do the 11 a.m. tour. You guys are lifesavers. We were able to overfill our tours for the 3 p.m. day tour. Elisa Polly got her final tour guide sign off today. Karma Herworth came and gave her, gave E, not these people are going to make me guess who they are by initials, her final sign off and Cat Light Cup, Light Cap backed them up. Barbara Nicholas did the second tour with Trevor McCabe and Jeannie Harvey as her backups and Dylan Levine kicked off the last tour with Amanda Wright. Thank you to everyone who came in today to help us get these tours out. It means a lot to me and the cats. Yeah, it means like $1,000 per tour for the cats. So we are very thankful for every one of those volunteers who come in to lead tours and to back up tours. I know it's not your favorite thing. You guys love being here and working with the cats, but it is our guests that actually make it possible for us to rescue cats. So thank you so much for coming and guiding the tours and educating people about why these cats do not belong in circuses. They do not belong in backyards. They are not pay to play props. Um, all of those reasons, it's so important that we have wonderful tour guides like you guys. So thank you so much for coming in and doing that. Also, today Brittany was on a conference call with some people from Facebook and she was asking about some of the issues that we've been seeing in the back end of our, our um, business management portal. And they were saying that one of the reasons they feel like our ads keep getting flagged they said we're doing everything right, but 
a lot of times when we run ads, we're running ads telling people about horrible things like cub petting and circuses. And when people click the sad or the mad button, it creates a um, algorithm to Facebook to say this is something people don't want to see. And yet, you know, when you get a post saying these cubs are being abused, you don't want to hit like and you don't want to hit love, but we need you to respond to it so that we know that, you know, you care about these issues. So don't hit mad or sad because that's causing us to end up not being able to post our posts and not being able to run our ads. And that's just crazy that Facebook doesn't have something that acknowledges the fact that a post can be something that you care deeply about and that you're not saying that you don't want to, well, you don't want to see the abuse, but you're not saying that you don't want to, you're not trying to kill the messenger is the whole thing. So for now, Let's try not hitting mad or sad on any of the big cat rescue posts and see if that helps. Again, thank you everybody. And you can see all of our updates at bigcatrescue.org and have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm thankful for you guys.